What's going on guys? In this video, I wanted to give you just a quick little update um, as far as the bunch trail out of the gun bunch. And I wanted to show you a setup that I really like, mainly because it does a really good job against base aligned defenses, as well as um, a really good job, in my opinion, against match defenses, uh, so that you can get easy, easy dots. It's also really good against cover three. So we're gonna dive into this video, guys. I love the bunch trail this year. I think bunch trail is probably the most underrated play from gun bunch. Not very many people run it because the skinny post last year wasn't that good. This year it's actually really, really good. So we're gonna break that down in this video. Now, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. You can always unsubscribe at a later time, but be sure to subscribe if you wanna get those daily tips. We post videos every single day that can help you get better at Madden. Now guys, in the Seattle playbook, that's my playbook of choice if I'm running Gun Bunch, but I've actually released an ebook on the gun bunch that covers more than just the Seattle playbook. It actually covers the entire gun bunch offense. So if you wanna get my full gun bunch um, out of Washington, Carolina, Seattle, um, Indianapolis, all of the bunches in the game broken down into one cohesive guide that uh, really explains in depth why you would call you know one playbook versus another playbook, the benefits of them, and also all of the concepts that you need to be successful. Get the gun bunch guide. There's a link in the description for you. All you gotta do is click that link. It'll take you to the website where you'll be able to get it. The gun bunch ebook is really, really, really good. And I think it's the best offense in the game. So that being said, let's go over this concept out of bunch trail. And what I like to do is uh, out of this play a couple things uh, i like to put the tight end on a delay uh drag route or a delay fade um just for extra protection this is really good for pass protection tight end blocking this year is really really good out of gun bunch what i like to do is id that linebacker so if that linebacker comes we'll slide left and have pretty good protection then from there all we're going to do is take the circle receiver and put him on a vertical or a streak and motion him to the outside and you're going to see that this concept is absolutely lethal. So um, our first read on this is obviously our fade route to our corner. And that corner route will get open against pretty much every zone in the game. Pretty much every zone. I haven't found a zone that is going to be able to consistently guard this. Now let me shift for just a second and show you why I like this so much, specifically against match defense. Um, and what you're going to see is against match defense, the R1 is going to get really in an interesting position and you're going to be able to easily throw that ball uh, to that guy. Now, if you're playing match, one thing I will go ahead and say is if, you, if you're playing a lot of match defense, it might be a little bit more beneficial to go ahead and put that tight end on a quick out or a quick flat route just because it's going to take the quarter flat. You'll see there the quarter flat goes down. And as you see, that's what we're looking at. Very good little route against match. Okay, so now moving on to the Tampa 2 defense, what I like about this concept against Tampa 2 is if I put circle on a fade route, you're gonna see it's gonna give him an outside release. So if they're playing cover two on me, I can easily throw that with an outside pass lead and absolutely obliterate cover two defense just like that. So you can put them on a fade or a streak and they'll basically serve the same purpose. And the next thing I wanna show against the Tampa 2 is the corner route. Um, this corner route to the R1 receiver, what, all you're gonna do is pass lead it up into the outside, just like that right there. Cover two does a decent job, um, especially if it's backed off like that, you're seeing that. Now, if it's pressed cover two, meaning they do something like this, they're not gonna have a chance at stopping this. So again, you're gonna see here, if that corner is pressed on the outside, it's a lot more open. And of course I got screened out, so I had to throw it a little bit earlier than I wanted to. Good old practice mode with the instant sheds. Absolutely drives me insane. But anyways, let's show you this one more time. So again, cover two, and we're just gonna get these defensive linemen out so they don't mess up the, the, the routes on this play. And again, you've got great protection. You've got a delay drag if you want to, or you could put him on a delay flat or you know whatever. But what you're gonna see is against cover two, if they're pressing out of this cover two, just pass lead that up. And as you see, you're able to get to that sideline really nicely. Now, all of that is just that side of the field. The last defense I wanna show is uh, really the defense that I think Drini uh, really labbed up hard out of the cover four drop with the baseline and press. And you're gonna notice that this is gonna do a really good job because when we motion this guy out, now that quarter zone has to follow the circle receiver, which is gonna significantly open up this bunch trail route, as you can see right there, easy, easy read. 
Okay, so that's the corner route. And now what I wanna do is spend a few minutes talking about the backside post. The first defense I wanna show this against against is Cover 3 Mabel. Cover 3 Mabel is the most popular defense you're gonna get out of Gun Bunch this year, especially maybe even a deep half or something on that side. But this is going to really open up the post route. And all we're gonna do is we're just gonna smart route that post route so that it goes a little bit shallower. And once he gets inside leverage, just pass lead it to the inside. And as you see, he splits the safeties really 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 well uh, against the cover three the next thing i want to go over is the cover two defense and uh, again same concept here nothing new but what you're going to see is this post route is going to cut to the inside and of course i'm getting instant shedded by a terrible defensive lineman yet somehow he instant sheds me again so just to show the tip let's back these linemen off just so you can see the route and again, like I said, you have really good protection. You're not going to get screamed at in game. Um, but anyways, watch this post. All you're going to do is wait for him to inside, get inside of that safety, pass lead inside, and as you see there, we're cooking cover two over the middle of the field. Now, their user is going to be conflicted because their user can't cover both, right? He can cover the corner. He can't go cover the corner and the post. So that's why I love this play so much. And then now let's go over cover four, show two. The reason I want to go over this is because... Um, you're gonna see obviously your flate your your corner streak concept is gonna be open But take a look at this square receiver You're gonna see here that he's gonna isolate the quarters get over the top really nicely against quarters as you can see And puts them in a really delicate position. So as long as you pass lead inside You're gonna be in a really good spot against cover four quarters. I also really like this against man now I will say that man coverage does a little better this year than it has in previous years for stopping this route you're gonna see here it's gonna push him to the outside but once he gets that inside position just pass lead inside and we're gonna hit that secure catch over the middle of the field so that's cover two that's Tampa two that's cover three that's cover four quarters now I want to show you cover four drop now I will say that cover four drop will do a decent job at defending the post route but I want to show you the route because I want you to be able to see what these adjustments are gonna actually mean uh, for your defender or for your players so let me just motion Brown out again on the fade it's one of my favorite sets because it gives me really good protection, right? My back is going to stay in if they if they do it. If they don't, he's going to release to the flat just like he's going to do right here. But watch this post. I can low ball this this year against the quarter zone, as you can see. The other thing that I want to hit on just real quick on that quarter, I want to show one other thing, and then I want to show you an adjustment that the defense can do that will help them significantly in defending this concept. But I want to show you this real quick. So again, let me show you this. And again, remember, we like to smart route him just so he goes shallower. And you're going to see here, pass lead inside, click on an aggressive catch. You're going to cut that off. Um, typically, you're going to get a diving catch animation. But if you're worried about interception, that's an easy way to kind of protect yourself. Now, the last thing that I want to show you is a concept that a lot of pro players will do is what they'll do is they'll call cover four, and then they'll bring these guys down in the box. Now, with this, it's actually going to defend us fairly decently. We're going to be able to hit our, out, uh, our corner route, but I do want to show you this post uh, against this just so you can kind of understand what you're going to be able to do. If you wait on it here, you're going to see they're going to defend it pretty nicely over the top. There's really not a great window to throw that against that this year, but... I will say that's a very specific adjustment that they have to do. Most people aren't going to want to do that because it's going to allow it's not going to allow them to mabel both sides of the coverage because they have too many people that are playing in the vertical seams. That's one of the main reasons why I like this play. Now I will say if you uh, smart route that post, you will see that obviously our corner route is still going to be wide open. But if we smart route that post, pass lead it inside right there, we can click on and kind of cut it off as you can see. So once he kind of comes underneath the quarter on his post cut, you can still hit this route. It's not necessarily completely bagged. Like I said here, I'm going to bring these guys down, you know, kind of in a good position to be able to defend this. And I just want you to see that these, it does, it does look covered and it is covered at first. It's just not covered the whole way through. So that's why I like to smart route it, get him a little bit lower. But once he cuts inside and gets inside that guy's hips right there, just pass lead inside and you get that animation right there every single time. So I really like this play a lot. I think this play is super effective against pretty much any coverage that the defense can do. And I think you're going to have a lot of success with this play. Now, if you like this play and you want to learn the entire Gun Bunch offense, I put a link in the description of this video to my Gun Bunch offensive ebook. If you want to get my Gun Bunch offensive ebook, it's on sale for just 15 bucks. 
and it's going to cover every single gun bunch in the game. And we're also willing, uh, we're also committed to updating this guide with any patches that happen, any changes that need to be made to the guide. We will always update you with the latest and greatest stuff out of the gun bunch offense. So it's a one-time purchase. You get it for the whole season, all the updates for the whole year, 15 bucks. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to get my gun bunch offensive guide, just head on down to my description of this video and click that link in the description. It'll take you over to the website and we'll get you all squared away.